Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking Grizzly. So today I'm going to do a slightly complicated recipe. I'm actually really excited because it's an borrowed recipe from an old friend of mine. Thank you, you know who you are. So again, it's a borrowed recipe, but I'm going to add my own flair to it. And FYI, this is my first time combining her recipe with my creativity. So if it comes out, you'll see this video. If not, I'll, I don't know, eat it but be disappointed. But let's hope it turns out. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Set it to 350. So here's what you're gonna need for the stuffed chicken part. Olive oil, chicken, pepper jack and Swiss shredded cheese, bacon, Liquid egg, I chose this because I feel it would be easier to dip the chicken in this and then into the flour and then into the breadcrumbs other than breaking eggs and mixing it. Just, eh, it's quick and easy. And fresh basil. So that's all you'll need for the stuffed chicken part. For the pan sauce part, you're gonna need mushrooms of your choice, onion of your choice, unsalted butter, cream cheese, sauce, and diced tomatoes. And that's all you'll need for the sauce. Let's get cooking. Alright, I say this is about good. It's only been on for about three, three and a half minutes. I'm one of those weird people that doesn't like the bacon crispy. So, yeah. <laughs> and while I set up the next step, I'm going to prepare my cast iron here. Medium high heat. I'm going to fill this with some olive oil. I just want enough olive oil in there so it coats both sides of the chicken. Uh, I'll cook one side and then the other. use cast iron make sure you have something to grab because the whole thing gets hot so first things first is we're going to butterfly our knife uh, butterfly our chicken just so like there's an opening like that And believe me, you can, you're probably not going to get this the first time because I'm still a little new at this, but if you cut too deep like I did this one, you're going to have the open top. This one's a little better because it's just open right in the middle. Just stuff that baby up. I'm not going to tell you I'm a uh, professional at this, but good enough. Chickens are stuffed. Now I'm going to do my three mixtures of flour, egg, and panko, or breadcrumbs, and then I'm just going to pop them up in the oil. All right, welcome back. Station's cleaned up. Just checking the oil temperature here. I'm looking for 350 degrees. We'll see how close we are. All right, we're pretty close. We're only about 15 degrees off. So next step is to brown our chicken. I'm not putting it in here to cook the chicken, just to give it a nice crust on the edge. All right, so it's been about 10, 11 minutes around that area. I know you can see like the browning on the bottom edge. That's when I know it's done, or you can just double check and take a look underneath. But flip this baby over and ooh. That's what we're looking for, that golden brown. Ooh. Let's get the other one, Let's see how this one looks. Mm. Beautiful. Is it just me, or do these delectable pieces of chicken look like a partner who's fully committed, has a six-figure income, three-car garage, and bringing flowers on the daily? No? Just me? Alright. Okay, next step. <laughs> Alright, so here I have a 9 by 13 pan, or uh, container, or whatever you want to call this. I'm going to take some of my sauce, not all of it, just to slightly coat the bottom, put a little on top of the chicken, 
Not a lot, I just want enough to coat the bottom here. Take a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And then I'm just gonna place this, uh, these bowls in an oven, a uh, preheated oven of 350 degrees for 20 minutes. And while we're waiting for this, we're gonna work on the pan sauce that we're gonna place over this. So let's get started. First things first, I'm not gonna go light on the butter. I'm gonna put a whole stick in there. Eight tablespoons. All right, now that all my butter's completely melted, I'm gonna drop my onion in. This is half of a full onion and my shrimp. All right, I say this is about good enough. At this point, you're gonna wanna add your sauce that you added onto your chicken, the rest of that. Your tomatoes. I'm only gonna put about half a can. And eight ounces of straight fat. Your cream cheese. Alright, and now you're just going to whisk it all together until it gets nice and creamy. You know what this actually calls for. I know you haven't seen them in a while, but baby whisk. goes beautiful piece of chicken stuffed chicken Hey everyone, so best part, Man, this is a plateful. Okay. So first impression, this dish is delicious. Just, everything's working together. The, sauce that had the mushrooms, the onion, the butter, uh, the actual sauce. It just works so well with the cheese that's in the perfectly juicy and tender chicken that I have. Wow. I am very impressed with myself with this one. This recipe turned out to be actually really amazing. So, I don't have a bad thing to say about this. I, hmm, how about that? Again, this is a borrowed recipe that I had uh, borrowed from a friend, old friend of mine, and I added my own twist to it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making this. I'm definitely going to be making this again. This is an absolute treat. And I highly recommend you guys give it a go. And mix it up, make it your own. Or follow me, because this was amazing. So again, thank you for letting me borrow your recipe. You know who you are. Thank you. Um, if you like what you saw, uh, like, comment, uh, and subscribe, hit the bell if you want to see more of my content. Other than that, thanks. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.